This tutorial was made using Final Cut Express HD version 3.5.1. And welcome. This is my first Final Cut Express tutorial. Today what we will be doing is blurring out a face or something. So the first thing we need to do is get a clip. So we need to go to file import files or command I then we need to go get it so this is the movie clip I'm gonna use I'm gonna rename that and we're gonna load it into our viewer now I'm gonna set my in and out points for what, what I want to blur out Let's just put it at that. And I'm going to I'm going to undo the audio patch panels because we don't need to really deal with that right now. So now I am going to Alrighty. So now we have our clip, and it is uh, 21 seconds long, and the next thing we need to do is duplicate it. We do that by pressing Shift, Option, and if you notice, there will be a little plus sign on the mouse. You can move it up to the next video layer. Then let's put our... Um, window layout to c compositing that will give you nice two big windows and we'll get get two effects one will be the um, the blur, the Gaussian blur and the next one will be a mass shape Then we can load this clip into the viewer, go to our filters, and uh, load both of these in. By marquee dragging, just load them on in. There we have it. Now, to make this easier, we'll just ramp this up all the way. And there you go, you can tell that this, um, this is going to be blurred out more. Now what we're going to do is blur out the dog's head. You don't need to use this exactly. You can you can just use the wireframe and that makes it easier. Because then you can just use this keyframe button down here. So I'm just going to do it that way. I'm going to first start by pressing this button. And just in case I'll press the uh, size buttons. Okay, so now we'll just scroll through, and once again, I'll just move that, and this just makes it easier because it's more, um, more visual, and it's not as much manual work. This is where I guess I can make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And we'll just keep doing this. It takes a lot of work, but in the end, with your keyframing, it's worth it. There we go. 
See, an animation takes a while. If you notice, I'm only into the first second. So if you plan to do this for the real thing, then get ready for a lot of work. That's probably good for now. So let me just render this. Mini, so uh, it takes a little bit longer than usual for other computers. You can just watch in my uh, meter up here. <laughs> and we are done. Now let's take a look at what happens. Alright, so there is a tutorial, and that's the finished product. Well, not exactly finished, and it would need a lot of work still, but let's play it again. You can see how the uh, blur spot follows the dog's head. And that's what is uh, how it is done to using keyframes to blur out someone's head. Head, such as in like a witness investigation something like that so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye